Last night, seven employees of the World Central Kitchen were killed. I want to be very clear. The strike was not carried out with the intention of harming WCK aid workers. It was a mistake that followed a misidentification at night during a war in a very complex conditions. It shouldn't have happened. The initial findings were just presented to me here in the Southern Command. I also visited the new humanitarian command center that we established today to improve the way we coordinate aid distribution in Gaza. We will continue taking immediate actions to ensure that more is done to protect humanitarian aid workers. This incident was a grave mistake. Israel is at a war with Hamas, not with the people of Gaza. We are sorry for the unintentional harm to the members of WCK. More than 200 aid workers have been killed in this conflict, making it one of the worst for aid workers in recent history. This incident is emblematic of a larger problem and evidence of why distribution of aid in Gaza has been so challenging. But what, beyond the strike, what is clear is that the IDF must do much more, much do, must do much more to improve deconfliction processes so that civilians and humanitarian aid workers are protected. The U.S. will continue to press Israel to do more as well to ensure the safety of humanitarian workers and will continue to do all we can to deliver this assistance to Palestinian civilians in Gaza. I spoke with uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu this morning with a phone call uh, that was organised uh, overnight. Uh, I expressed uh, Australia's anger and concern at the death of Zomi Francom. Uh, Zomi was an Australian aid worker uh, working for the World Central Kitchen, uh, providing support for people who are suffering from tremendous deprivation in Gaza. This is completely unacceptable. Uh, the Israeli government has accepted uh, responsibility uh, for this and Prime Minister Netanyahu uh, conveyed uh, his condolences uh, to the family of Zomi uh, Frankham and to Australia 
as a result of this tragedy. Let me make it clear, we had nothing to do uh, with what the, the strike in Damascus. Uh, we weren't involved in any way whatsoever. So the comments by the Iranian foreign minister that somehow we're to be held to account or that we're to blame is just nonsense. We had nothing to do with it. We were not notified by the Israelis about their um, strike or the intended target of their strike in Damascus. We've made it very clear in private channels to Iran that we were not responsible for the strike that happened in Damascus. Um, I will reiterate the U.S. had no involvement in that strike um, and we had no knowledge about it ahead of time. למחדל של השביעי באוקטובר. אני דורשת שילך הביתה, יניח לנו, ייתן לנו לנהל את המדינה, ושמישהו אחר יחזיר לי את מתן ויחזיר לנו את החטופים.